Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you some updates on the NodeOps Atlas Network project that has now been rebranded to NodeOps Network. Also, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to add a machine to the network. It's super simple. Even though I don't understand how to use a Linux system, I was able to easily set up my machine as you will also be after this tutorial. The new name of NodeOps Network was marked by a strategic decision to evolve from what was once known as Atlas Network. After a highly successful testnet campaign under the Atlas brand, NodeOps recognized that the overwhelming response and trust in the existing brand presented a unique opportunity. Rather than splitting the focus, they chose to bring everything in-house, merging the proven success of NodeOps' original business with the bold new vision of a decentralized compute marketplace. In parallel to the merging of the brands, NodeOps also got a fresh look with the console 2.0. Just go to the website and see the amazing new look they have. As the token generation event for the Node token gets closer, we also start to get some insights on the token utility. And one of the main advantages is that you will be able to pay services of NodeOps using the Node token. This is super bullish and will bring loads of value to the token. Don't forget and collect all your airdrops as soon as they come available. Wave 1 airdrop has just finished and Wave 2 is right around the corner. The economics of both NodeOps and NodeOps Network will be merging together and you will be able to use NodeOps Network credits on the NodeOps console. As part of the redefining and celebration of the new looks for NodeOps Networks, they are preparing a big surprise. And we can already have a sneak peek here. It might be a flagship collection sale, or maybe a node sale. The team also has cat mascots on their profiles, and they look super cool. So let's wait, stay tuned, and let's find out together what is coming. As soon as more news will be available, I will keep you posted on my X account. Make sure you follow me. The link for my profile is in the description. Now for the step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the machine. First, you need the computer. You can use any computer that you have at home. Either your main computer that you use to run your nodes, an old machine lost in the garage or in the attic. In my case, I'm going to use an old machine that I found abandoned in my garage. Also, if you don't have any computer lying around, you can always buy a used mini computer from eBay or a new refurbished one from Amazon. This should not cost you more than 150 euros. Or in alternative, you can also rent a VPS server online that should cost you around $5 a month. You will need now to install Linux in the computer. For this, I use a USB pen drive with Ubuntu install inside it. To make a bootable Ubuntu USB for yourself, just download the ISO image from the Ubuntu website. You can see the link in the description. Create a bootable USB flash drive with, for example, Balena Etcher or similar programs. You can see here how to use the software. Quite simple. Put your target laptop PC USB flash drive and install Ubuntu. It is that simple. After you have your target machine with Ubuntu, you can go back to your main machine and create or log in your account in the NodeOps network. The new website is nodeops.network or simply follow the link in the description. You will need now to go under products and select Cloud Marketplace. Accept the terms and conditions and log in by using your wallet. After you are logged in, you should select Register as a Compute Provider. Read the description and press Register. As this is a special function of the network, you will be required to connect your wallet again. After connecting the wallet, you will be required to stake 2000 node tokens. Make sure you have them in your wallet, as well a bit of ETH for gas fees. You can be eligible for a free staking. In this case, you will still need a bit of Ethereum for gas fees, so don't forget about them. I got a small bug here when I was registering, but I just refreshed the page and the bug was gone. Fill your information and click complete your profile. You are now ready to add machines to your profile. Just press add machines, select the amount of machines you would like to add, 
and click Continue. At this point, you will be given a list of tasks to do. Just go over them until you get to the task that requires you to copy the command. Copy this command by clicking on the Copy symbol and using an USB storage device, create a text document inside of it and paste the command inside this text document and save it. Make sure to create a text document as it is the easiest format to open in a target computer. You can now click Finish and at this moment you can already see your machine on the pending tab of the dashboard. Now, to finalize, you need to run the command on the target machine. For this, grab the USB storage device with a text document and take it to the Ubuntu machine. Open the folder that contains the text document in the USB storage device and copy the command line. Now, go open the terminal on the computer. You can do this by going here and select here terminal or just by pressing Ctrl Alt capital T. Paste the command that you just got from the text document in the console and run it. Wait a few minutes and your machine should be added now to the system. As you can see, it's super simple, almost plug and play. Now you will be able to see your machine activated in your dashboard. You just need to wait for someone to start using the resources that your machine is sharing and you will start earning. As this project is starting, it might take some time until your machine is used. So just be patient and wait. Now that you successfully activated your machine, don't forget to collect your node points. Just go back to the console of the NodeOps network, click again on Register as a computer provider, and this time click on Check Status. You will be awarded 1000 node points. Click also on Add a machine, and again on Check Status. You will get this time 2500 more node points. That's a total of 3500 node points that you will count for the future airdrop. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I see you again very soon in my next video.